wanted to show you an idea I had to supercharge my uh, vermicomposting trench or compost pile if you want to call it. Uh, we're going to put uh, layers of straw or hay, grass, dead grass with layers of coffee grounds. And uh, that would uh, give food and uh, some carbon from the filters in throughout. It doesn't really need the filters, but it'll give uh, more stuff for the worms to eat through and uh, get this ready uh, for the uh, monsoon season, which would hopefully start next week. We had clouds two days ago. But, uh, yeah, I've been trying to figure out what to do with this. And uh, last year I just left it alone. This year we're going to uh, supercharge one pile and leave the other the way it is. So let's uh, lay down some coffee grounds. So what I've put in here are two of the foil bags that you get at some places at, uh, from Starbucks. So I put two of those in, and what I'll do is uh, give it a good thick layer of the dead grass or hay or whatever you want to call it. I will call it dead grass because that's what it was from the backyard. And then I'll put another layer of coffee grounds on top of that and then cover it. And uh, that should be good to go for all the rain that we're having and plus another experiment I want to try on this so let's uh, let me put the uh, other layer and I'll get back with you so I put on the second layer of coffee grounds and this newspaper here is filled in with uh, with the uh, summer hair or my spring hair so I'll put that right into the pile it'll break down eventually so all I had were, was two bags of uh, coffee grounds. I should have uh, stocked up more. Oh, well, I have stocked up, but they're for my worms. And these four bags I just grabbed the other day. So I'll put an another layer of um, straw on top of this, dead grass. And then uh, in another video, we'll uh, water it down so yeah let's a look at the uh, pile uh, this should help out quite a bit uh, the worms will feed off the uh, coffee grounds they'll come up from the soil uh, when it starts raining I'll probably put uh, some worms into it also from inside the house in one of my containers but uh, to help uh, speed up the process but yeah that's a look at the my idea of supercharging the uh, compost pile speed it up is to add coffee grounds to it they're free available resource uh, from Starbucks or any coffee shop they need to get rid of them somehow and uh, once the monsoons that we get which are summer rains come uh, it will help out greatly providing moisture and I won't turn this I'll leave it the way it is I'll just uh, add water and uh, uh, fertilizer liquid fertilizer as you will see to it and that's all I'll do and it'll break down uh, I didn't even touch it last year and uh, it uh, decomposed itself but uh, we're gonna ramp up the uh, breakdown process this year and what this will do here is feed my pumpkins uh, if you look last year's video which I'll put a link down below these roots from these pumpkins were into the trench here so once the rains come uh, hopefully this year to also that they'll grow their roots down and feed off all this so it's not just for the compost pile but it's also feeding 
these three plants here. So hopefully you enjoyed that little bit of uh, uh, learning of about coffee grounds and the compost pile. Uh, just my idea. I, I've seen it work in my other uh, uh, back vermicomposting hole that I have. I put coffee grounds in there and it just went crazy. Uh, even this earlier this year, I've already have to put uh, since springtime. Uh, it's already decomposed and I've already had to put bedding in there but uh, this should work out great should uh, break down the compost pile really really quick once we get rain into it so hopefully you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching